Hey everybody, this is Patrick from Hits HQ. Uh, I've got a good combo here for you today. We've got a break of the Boombox High End Baseball Edition. I'll give you guys a little bit of information around that, maybe a little bit of review, and at the same time we'll be taking those packs and we'll have ourselves a hobby pack face-off. Um, that's pretty much where I'll take all the packs, we'll pick the top two cards from each, and then we'll see which one's the winner. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So to kick this off, let's check out the boom box. Um, in terms of cost, this will probably cost you about 60 bucks. Uh, according to the details, this should be somewhere between six to 10 packs in here, uh, four guaranteed high end, which I'm assuming means is something 10 or more dollars per pack. Um, yeah, so let's jump on in and hope we get at least that much in return. All right. So with that being said, keep the scissors away, keep my hands safe. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, so for those of you that maybe haven't seen these, uh, there are a bunch of breaks on YouTube right now for these guys. Um, I think they're pretty new, uh, but I've seen some pretty big hits come out of these. Um, so I'm actually quite excited to open these up and see exactly how many cards there are. Um, so what normally happens is you get a bunch of packs, at least from what I've seen from videos, this is my first one actually that I'm purchasing. I will go through those shortly. And then they also include a little one touch just in case you get yourself a pretty big hit, a little 75 point one touch, that's nice, good to have. Put that box to the side. All right, so let's go through these really quick. I'll throw this on the side. All right, it looks like, ooh, some great packs in here. We've got about seven packs. Um, so let's look at them first. I'll, then we'll rank them, and then we'll open them up. Uh, first one being, we've got a 2014 Bowman Draft. Um, this is actually pretty solid. I'm not looking for Nick Gordon, but what I would probably be looking for here is either... Eloy Jimenez, Rafael Devers, uh, Bowman Firsts, potentially, hopefully, signature card. That'd be amazing. Um, so we've got that. We've got a 2020 Heritage. I've opened up a few of those already. Um, we've got 2019 Topps Chrome. Um, this one, you're looking for the big four. All right, this is uh, Vladdy, Eloy, Tatis, Alonzo. Uh, that's actually going to be probably one of the better ones. I'll probably rank that one up pretty high. This is actually one of my favorite packs this year, Gypsy Queen. I just love the look of them. And you've got some good rookies. Jordan Alvarez, Bichette, Lux. Oh, yes. 2018 Topps Chrome. Uh, we're talking about Acuna and Otani here. If you can get either one of those rookie cards out of here, especially if it's a signature, uh, that would pretty much pay for probably about 10 of these boom boxes. Um, wow. 2019 Bone and Chrome. This is going to be, again, Tatis, Vladdy, Eloy, uh, Keston Hura. Except that was probably worth even a little bit more than that one. And then last but not least, a Bowman's Best. Also, same thing, 2019, looking for the same players. Um, this one, you'll actually probably be looking for the Wander Franco as well, Joe Adele. I believe this Bowman Chrome is, they've got top prospects in here. I think the best hit right now would be Noel V. Marte. Um, that would be awesome to get that one. So what I'll do now is I'll actually put these in order of what I think uh, they'll do. Actually, really quick. So this is about 60 bucks. So what I see here, this is definitely more than $60 worth of packs. Um, this, and this is what I like about stuff like the boom box is instead of, you know, if you were to go buy a hobby box for all of these packs, you're talking about spending over $1,000. I spent 60. And if I had to guess, I would say these probably go for 15 to 20 bucks a pack. Um, your Topps Chrome 2019 is probably like eight or nine dollars a pack. That 2018, these hobby boxes are selling like crazy. This is probably at least two hundred fifty dollars for a hobby box, which means this is like a ten to a twelve dollar pack. Um, Gypsy Queen, 
the last one I just bought, which is recently, you can see the box there in the corner, uh, was 150 bucks. So that's not a cheap hobby box. Um, and I just love them. I, I don't think I can stop buying these, but again, that makes this like a six or seven dollar pack. And then these guys are probably more in like that 80 to hundred dollar hobby box range. Um, 24 packs per box. So probably about four bucks a pack here. So we're talking about over $70 worth of, of packs for 60 bucks. So that's pretty good. Plus you get that one touch, which is normally about a dollar a piece. So if I had to put these guys in order, I think no question the one I'm most looking forward to is definitely uh, this top scrum. I think that's going to be the winner here. Uh, there's so many good rookies in that pack. Um, Walker Bueller, Rafael Devers, Glaber Torres, uh, you name it. And then these 2019s, uh, man, I really like this Gypsy Queen and I want to put it over one of these high-end packs. Um, and I think I'm going to do that. So what I'll do is I'll actually say that the 2019 Chrome, and then this moment's best is just so, it's just so pricey. I can't really put Gypsy Queen over that. I'd say Gypsy Queen would be number four. Then top scrum, then this Bowman draft, and then this heritage uh, would probably be the one. So that's the order I'm guessing they're going to happen in. So actually, let's do this in reverse order and see if I'm right. Oh, I'm touching buttons on my laptop. Cool. All right, so we'll start off with the Topps Heritage 2020 Hobby Pack. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put them on here instead of going through them too quickly. I've been watching a bunch of breaks. And I'd say one of the things I wish they did was maybe go through uh, go through the packs, I think, a little bit slower. Um, for any of you that I'm going to put that on the screen just for two seconds. I know a lot of people are wondering what the odds might be on some of these. So there you go. Um, so I'm... A bigger fan of the slower pack openings. Um, I know some of you that might be a little tough to watch. Some of you might love it. And that's what I'm hoping. Um, so we'll start from the top. So we've got a bunch of inserts. We're obviously always looking for parallels. Uh, and then obviously signatures. Um, what's nice. So we've got a ERA leaders. And DeGrom, Soroka. Nice. <clears throat> we got a base card, Javier Baez. So what you're looking for in Heritage, just so you know, uh, you're looking for special backs. Um, there are short prints, and the short prints normally, like your action cards, will actually say action here. Um, the other thing is, let me see if you guys can see this, you're also always looking for the number. And so 13 is the last two of the base set. So that's what we're looking for. Missing signatures are obviously great, different color. Uh, parallels would be awesome. All right. We've got Juan Lagares, base card. We've got a Nicky Lopez, base card. Again, still nothing really to write home about just yet. All right, Julio Tejeron. So, uh, sorry if I just butchered his last name, but that's okay. Danny Jansen. Another thing about Heritage is the rookie cards are a little bit rarer to come by, and it's just because they tend to group them together. It's normally not just a single rookie. Uh, I was hoping we'd find one here so we could see it. Uh, Lewis Brinson, man, he was a little bit of a bust. He's still got time to come back, though, but that's not too shabby of a card. We've got a Jock Peterson. Base. And Jake Lamb, base card. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do really quick is another short print is the high number short print. So see where it says 142. We're looking for anything over 400. I don't think we had any and we don't. All right, so just as I expected, that will probably be our worst pack of the day. Uh, that was your 2020 Heritage Base. All right, now we're getting into the exciting stuff. I think the last six packs here, I'm excited to open up all of them. Um, I know I'm being a little bit more ambitious about that Gypsy Queen, but let's go. I really want to see a Bowman's, uh, first Bowman for Devers or Eloy here. That would be fantastic. Alrighty. Let's get you guys those odds. Again, I don't know. 
It's not for everybody, but there we go. Perfect. Let's hold that for a second. It's not for everyone, but I know I personally like to know the odds. I throw them in some, you know, Google Sheets or Excel Sheets uh, just to find out, you know, how rare a card actually is. Uh, just so I don't have to keep a bunch of these around. I can just quickly access that in a Google Doc. And I am excited for this pack. Uh, this is an old school pack. All right, again, looking for numbered cards, signatures, you name it. All right. We got a first Bowman for Ryan Castellani. I sort of like the look of these cards. Oh, looks like we've got some non-white card there in the middle. That's probably a good thing. There's a couple of those. Um, this is my first time actually opening up one of these sets. Um, I've seen, like, the individual cards on eBay, but... So this Ryan Castellani... First Bowman, pretty sweet little setup. Uh, they got like the little, you can see that the little bar charts in the background. That's pretty cool. Uh, Dominic Smith, not a first Bowman. Uh, top prospect card. We got a first Bowman of Joe Connor. We got a couple Bowman Chromes in here. All right, all right. We got a Colin Moran Bowman Chrome, and a first Bowman Chrome of Jonathan Holder. Isan Diaz, that's actually a pretty nice card. All right, I like that. That's probably the best card out of this pack. Um, I would say, yeah, for sure. And then we got a, an Ian Clarkin. I don't know who that is, which makes me think that it's probably not that great of a card. Uh, but if I had to pick the top two of this one, let me put them at the top. I would want to say it's probably... Mm, probably this... Number one would probably be the first Bowman, Ison or Eason Diaz. I apologize for torturing his name. And then this Bowman Chrome, Colin Moran. Uh, I'd probably put next, which isn't great. Um, for what is, what is it, like a $4 pack? That's not too shabby. Didn't get the hit I wanted, but that, that Eason Diaz is actually pretty good. We'll see how he plays this year. Okay. <clears throat> 2019 Tops Chrome. Um, you could probably get a hobby box of these for about 200 bucks. Uh, again, you're looking for the big four: Vladdy, Eloy, Tatis, Alonzo, and they're actually all numbered 201 to th through 204. Um, I believe number 200 is Mike Trout, but I know that if you're looking for 201, 202, 202, 203, and then 204. Um, let me go ahead and give you guys your odds. Again, try to keep that still. There you go. Hopefully you can get a snapshot of that. Let's go. Rolling the dice here. That's sort of why I'm a big fan of this. I know that if you buy a whole hobby box, you're guaranteed autos, and you're also not guaranteed autos with uh, something like a boom box, but you're getting those same odds for those big, you know, big money cards, um, those really sought after cards. And I think that's good enough, because if you really wanted a specific card, you could probably just, you know, as long as it's not super expensive, you could probably just go buy it on eBay instead of going to buy a bunch of hobby boxes to find it. Um, but if you're looking for, like, the big cards, like a Vladdy signature, you know, rookie card or something like that, you're probably not going to want to go spend the four or five hundred bucks on it, so you're just hoping to hit, and, hit it in one of these packs. So you can see in the front and the back, Elvis Andrews. Normally if there's a hit, it'd be the third card in. I'm not sure if we've got one or not. Uh, we've got a Josh Rogers rookie card. We've got a Joey Ricard. All right, so these are just some bases. I'm going to go to the last one, Elvis Andrews. Um, and then last... We got a Noah Syndergaard. It says, uh, I believe, in 1984. Yep, 1984. It's not a numbered card. Um, I apologize if I was opening that off the screen. Uh, not a numbered card, but it is a beautiful card. I do like those. Um, I think this one's an easy top two cards are definitely these two. A rookie card, obviously always good. And then this insert, 1984 insert, is pretty nice looking. I'd say that's probably the best card we've opened up so far, which isn't great, um, but we've got a lot of our high-end uh, packs coming up shortly, so I'm expecting those to quickly fall down the list. Okay, again, I put this, I think, in the middle, fourth out of seventh place. 
Uh, I think I've pretty much hit the order so far. Although I am liking that Bowman first uh, for Isan Diaz, but I just love the look of Gypsy Queen. This is, um, you know, I'm I'm out there buying singles of these on eBay. Uh, like the Jesus Lizardo black and white mini autograph card out of 50. I think you can get for like 20, 25 bucks, which is crazy. Um, cause I have a feeling if Lazardo becomes, you know, a beast, that's going to be worth quite a bit of cash. Um, so here we go. Here's your odds. Let's check these out. I just, I just opened up a whole hobby box of these. I got a couple nice hits. Uh, I actually did get one of those mini, uh, black and white autos. Uh, I believe it was Robel Garcia, I believe. <clears throat> from the Cubs. So we got a Chris Davis in the back. All right, look, these are just, these are just some good looking cards. Oh, I see a blue parallel. That is fantastic. Uh, that's a numbered card that will automatically go to the top of the list uh, for our best card yet today. So we got Melanson. And what's nice with these, it's a little bit tough to find, to recognize all of the variations of it. You're looking for the logo swaps which means this GQ switches to, uh, I believe it's like a face. You're looking for missing nameplates. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other variations like Players Weekend, uh, Jackie Robinson Day, you name it. And a lot of those, it's really tough to see, so you just gotta look at the, the, at the number at the bottom. Um, so what we're looking for is something that's not a 42. That's just the base card. Uh, Mikolas. Mikolas base card. Oh, sorry. Again, one of my first videos. I'll get better at keeping this on screen, and I'm waiting for my stand to come in, so I'm using sort of a, a weird setup right now. All right. <clears throat> We've got a rookie card, Seth Brown. That's beautiful. I'm going to actually start grabbing from the back here. we got that Chris Davis. Uh, looks like just a base. Hassley, Adam Hassley, base card. Josh Bell, I've got him on a lot of my fantasy teams. Uh, this is just his base card, but I, I did get a blue border. Uh, Gypsy Queen with my last hobby box of Josh Bell. I was very happy with that. And then Alex Colomay, I didn't really quickly. Uh, I probably could have slow played that, but that's okay. We've got, I believe this is a blue or... I can't really tell the difference between the blue and the indigos. I'll have to check the number in the back. John Means. All right, as you can see there, it is out of 150, which makes me feel like this is the indigo. Um, so that's nice. Nice to get those numbered cards, even though it's John Means. I think he's still got a chance to to prove himself. He's had He, he had a pretty good start to last year. Um, so we'll see if the shortened season happens this year. We can see what's going on there. That's out of 150. That is by far the best card in here. And then I would probably, it's tough to not put a rookie card as your next best card, but it might be actually be this Josh Bell, it might be the second best card. Which again, not super great. Um, you're wanting, you know, for a hit, you're wanting some rookies or low number cards. Out of 150, not too shabby. You probably get, I don't know, three or five bucks for that on eBay. Right, but definitely so far the my ordering is perfect right now. Um, now is where it gets tough because I put Bowman's best as third. Uh, all it's going to take is a hit to put any of these at the top. Um, so what we're looking for here, 2019 Bowman's best. This is like a 16 to 20 dollar pack by itself, which is crazy. Uh, but when you think about it, like I said, I think I told you, I said this earlier. Tatis, Hura. Eloy, Guerrero, uh, Alonzo, Wanda Franco, Luis Robert, they're all in here. Um, there's all that potential for autographs, you name it. I am fingers crossed. All right. I've got no odds on here. This is my first time opening up one of these. I was hoping to get odds to show you guys, so you might have to find that somewhere else. Uh, all right. I see already a Xander Bogarts on the back. I like that. 
Um, I am pumped for this pack. Okay. Uh, we may have something in there. All right, these are really nice looking cards. Uh, we got uh, some really flashy in the middle. All right, we've got ourselves a Riley Green. Fantastic. Loving that. Corbin Carroll. Oh, and there it is, people. That's what we're looking for. Uh, this actually probably jumps that blue parallel from the Gypsy Queen pack. This is probably our best card so far today. That's the Eloy Jimenez rookie card. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. Those edges look great. I am a big fan. That's got to get sleeved up. Uh, oh, I just jumped right to it. I got to slow play this, I think, a little bit more. But we've got this Glaber Torres refractor. In the back, there's a Xander Bogars. But let's see, is this numbered? It is not a numbered card, um, but it's still a nice looking card. Glaber Torres, no question about it. Top two cards here are this Glaber Torres and best card tonight so far is this Eloy Jimenez. No autographs yet, one numbered card and this rookie card. That's great. Uh, that's the winning card right now. All right, and again, we are in perfect order. I am only expecting stuff to get better from here. All right, so we've got our 2019 Bowman Chrome. You are looking for the same cards, except there's no Wander Franco in here. There is no LV Marte um, Bowman Chrome uh, prospect card. That would be a nice hit to find one of those. Uh, preferably signed. I wouldn't mind a little nice little autograph. We've got two more packs left. Uh, and as I finally expected, we've got some odds here. Like that, feel free to take a second. Perfect. All right. I want to see this. Give me that, uh, I think I want that Tatis. I wouldn't mind that Tatis. All uh, right. So we're opening this baby up. Let's throw that to the side. Um, I like the looks of a thicker card in the middle. Let me see if you guys can see that. Uh, Trying to get that there just perfect. That normally means there's a hit in there. So I'm going to try to slow play that one. Uh, we got a Mike Ciani. Like that. We got a Leonardo Jimenez first Bowman. Bowman Chrome. I like that. That's a nice looking card. Uh, we're going to go pull, start pulling from the back. We got a Griffin Canning rookie card. Like that. Uh, I'd actually put that as the top card so far. Uh, right, Buster Posey. I actually just got one of his relics out of Series 1. Um, put that into a nice big sleeve. Buster Posey. And now we're going to slow play, play this a little because this could be a hit. Uh, right? So let's see what we got here. It's a rookie card. And it is a Blue Jay. Orion Barucki. Alright, that's our hit. And I think it's just it's like a Looks like a rainbow foil or something. Uh, that is not numbered, but still a good card. Uh, it is probably, probably the number one card here. Uh, I'd, I'd give the two rookies. You know, it's not the hits we want, but you can't go wrong with Bowman, Bowman, uh, Bowman Chrome rookie cards, excuse me. Um, so I would actually say that the Eloy Jimenez probably jumps over this, so... The Bowman's Best is actually doing better than the Bowman Chrome, so that's where I went wrong. Um, so right now I'd put them in order of Bowman's Best, Bowman Chrome, and then that Gypsy Queen. Now we've got our last one. This could be huge. Um, we're looking at, really, you want Acuna. Acuna rookie card in great condition, signed preferably. I know I keep saying that. But you've got also Glaber, Glaber Torres, Otani, Walker Bueller. They're all in here. Uh, there's only four cards. And like I mentioned, this is like a $10 or $12 pack. Uh, that Bowman Chrome that we just opened up is normally like a $15 pack. So this one might be a little bit tougher for you to capture. Thank you, Tops, for making this so hard. But hopefully that helps some of you. I'll move it around a little bit. There we go. That's better looking. Perfect. All right. Let's do this. We need this hit. Uh, I've seen a Chris Bryant. 
Okay, Chris Bryant on the back. I'm assuming that's a base card, but you never know. It's not numbered. It's definitely a chrome card. Let's look in the middle. I'm not sure what's going on here, but let's take a look. We got a Francisco Lindor base, looking pretty. We got a rookie card, and oh man, I saw Atlanta rookie card, and I was getting really excited. Um, this is a Francisco Lindor base. It's a nice looking card. Oh, we got another rookie card behind that, and so I'm hoping that's our big hit. Uh, we haven't got any signatures or anything, and I don't think it is a signature just because it's not a thicker card, but you never know. So let's pull from the back. There's your Chris Bryant base card. And let's see it. Let's let's see what this could be. We're looking at a rookie card from Philly. Freshman Flash, Nick Williams. I would say Freshman Flash, Nick Williams, not numbered. All right, so overall the break itself, not as good as I would have liked. I've seen some great breaks on these high-end boom boxes. I uh, was hoping we can get one of them, but hey, we got a couple rookie cards out of here. This Max Freed, um, he could actually become a beast. He was playing really well last year, so that probably that and the Freshman Flash are the two best cards here. But if I had to say a top three of the seven packs we opened, um, I would say third place, I would go ahead and give to, hmm, that's really tough. I am really liking this bone. Actually, you know what? I know I'm having a I'm having a tough one here. All right, I would give this actually probably the fourth place. Third place is probably going to go to the Bowman Chrome. I like this Baruki rookie card and this Griffin Canning rookie card. Uh, and then first place, no question about it. At Eloy. That's probably the, in terms of value, that's probably the most valuable card we opened up today. And I just love it. That's a nice looking card. Uh, and then you've got that Glabar, Tor Glabar Taurus in the back. A little refractor of some sort. Uh, big fan. All right. Well, I'm hoping you guys liked the opening. Uh, if it was too fast, too slow, I know that I wasn't really centered here. I'm hoping to get some better equipment set up. But this is my first time uh, putting one of these together. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um... Overall, I would get myself another boombox, I think. Um, I've seen too many good breaks on YouTube to not open up one, get another one of those open up. And when I do, I'll make sure I open it up on, online here. Um, expect to do another uh, pack face-off probably in the, in the next week or so. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you very much, everybody. Have yourselves a great day. See you soon.